Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, we'll show you how rice is grown commercially in the field and processed in the factory. The first and preliminary preparation for crop production is field selection. Location matters. Rice thrives in areas with plenty of water, so fields with a reliable water source are ideal. The soil is first prepared for rice cultivation. In this case, different types of machinery are used. For example, stone picker, strip till, subsoiler, etc. Rice is typically grown in paddy fields that require a constant supply of water throughout the cultivation cycle. The process begins with filling the paddy fields with water, ensuring that the fields are submerged to a specific depth. The initial flooding helps control weeds and pests and provides buoyancy to support the delicate shoots. After the fields are submerged, the water level is carefully monitored and adjusted throughout the cultivation cycle. Now, water from this flooded land is removed through irrigation. The accumulation of silt in the drainage can lead to waterlogging, which affects the productivity of the land. Therefore, regular cleaning and maintenance of the drainages are necessary to ensure proper water flow and prevent any potential damage to the agricultural fields. Now, let's talk about the actual seeding process. The seeds are carefully selected by the farmer and then spread in a controlled manner, using modern machinery for efficient and precise sowing. In this case, they use the arrow system. As the seeds fall into prepared soil, they sink into the soil and are ready to nestle, germinate, and sprout. This is like witnessing the birth of new rice. In time, these tiny seeds will transform into vibrant green rice plants ready to grow. When these rice seedlings reach a certain size, they are transferred to the warehouse. In this case, the workers put these seedlings on the moving line and the trucks are loaded. These seedlings are then loaded into the upper chamber of the agro-robo rice. From this chamber, the seedlings come one by one to the propeller where robotic propellers grab one side and sow the muddy ground on the other. Agro-Robo Rice works to automate and optimize the rice cultivation process. It performs various tasks like sowing seeds, applying fertilizers, monitoring crop health, and harvesting paddy. Additionally, it uses advanced technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze data and make informed decisions for efficient rice production. The amount of water from these fields is brought down through irrigation. The amount of water is kept in such a way that the soil is slightly muddy and soft, but not too hard. The pesticide process for cultivating rice in a technology-based field involves the use of advanced tools and techniques to ensure effective pest control. Farmers utilize drones equipped with sensors and cameras to monitor the rice fields for signs of pest infestation. These drones can accurately identify specific areas that require pesticide application, minimizing the overall usage of chemicals and reducing environmental impact. Between sowing and harvest, most cultivators need 105 to 150 days. In some cases, it can take up to 180 days for a plant to grow. Remember, the duration of growth can vary depending on factors such as climate, soil conditions, and the specific plant species. Computer vision technologies are used for cutting rice. One of the popular technologies is drone mapping. Drone mapping involves the use of unmanned aerial vehicles equipped with high-resolution cameras to capture images of the paddy fields from above. These images are then processed using computer vision algorithms to identify and locate the rice plants, enabling precise cutting and harvesting.
Automated harvesters equipped with cutting-edge sensors and GPS systems can accurately determine the optimal time for harvesting based on factors like moisture content and crop maturity. Now we'll see how each part of the harvester machine works so that we get dirt-free rice. First, crop divider, reel, and knife. These three parts work together to cut the upper part of the rice plant and take it inside the harvester machine. The auger conveyor and feeding conveyor move the tip of the rice plant to the concave. From the tip of the paddy plant through the rotation of the blower, the grain auger, the grain elevator reaches the grain collector and the ear collector through the ear auger. The straws are taken out through the straw walker while the paddy is deposited in a certain place on the harvester machine. Then the collected rice is loaded into the tractor. Once the rice is harvested, it's time to transport it to the processing factory. These tractors full of paddy leave the field. These tractors fill these paddies and transporter trucks. Later, these transporter trucks left for the factory. After reaching the factory, the trucks go to a specific place in the factory where these rice are unloaded. The factory process starts from here. These rice enter the warehouse inside the factory through conveyor lines. Then the raw rice is put inside this huge furnace, so that the rice is boiled and the fibers on it can be removed easily. Workers are feeding coal here to keep the furnace continuously heated. These boiled rice are taken to the drawing chamber of the factory where they are thoroughly machine dried. After the rice is machine dried, it undergoes a quality check to ensure optimal moisture content. Now the rice is sorted and graded. Sophisticated optical sorters and grading machines are used to separate rice grains based on size, shape, and color. This ensures that only the highest quality rice makes it to your table. Here these dried patties are driven through two rollers so that the husks on the top of the patty are burst and the rice is separated. These rice husks are taken to the grounding chamber of the factory, where the fibers are ground. Later, the powder of these fibers is deposited in a specific place outside the factory through pipes. For some types of rice, like white rice, there is an additional step called polishing. In contrast, these rice are taken to the polishing chamber where there is a polishing machine. The rice is polished well through this machine. This process removes any remaining bran layers and gives the rice a shiny appearance. It's done with precision to maintain the integrity of each grain. Finally, the processed rice is ready for packaging. This high-tech scale accurately measures rice. This measuring machine successfully measures the rice and sends it to the packing machine line. First, this machine fills one kilogram and two kilogram packets with rice. These state-of-the-art machines fill and seal the rice bags at impressive speeds, reducing human error and ensuring consistent packaging. These small packets of rice are wrapped together with polythene and deposited one by one in the storage room. The world's largest producer of rice is China. On average per year, China produces 212,843,000 tons, India 195,425,000 tons, and Bangladesh 56,944,554 tons of rice. These countries alone account for a significant portion of the global rice production. Rice is a staple food in many Asian countries and plays a crucial role in their economies and food security. 
And there you have it, the journey of rice from the fields to the factory. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video.